it's time for a change. So, in the past, I have mentioned that the 300 millimeter is too long for softball for me. But this past weekend, I used the 300 for all four games, and my mind has been changed. So, I'm going to go through my process and what changed ultimately for me. So typically I am shooting in the dugout and with the 7200, it is a perfect lens to use in the dugout covering all positions, except for maybe right field being a little too far away and maybe a far right center. But for the most part, the 7200 is perfect for my primary, but I wanted to get something new. I wanted to try something different. And so I put the 300 on the primary and the 16 millimeter on the secondary body. The 16, I had some shots in mind when it came to huddle shots in between games, um, after innings, or in the dugout. And so I was going to use that ultra wide look to kind of overemphasize some huddle shots and kind of get into the action with the team. So, with that said, we're going to jump into the 300 millimeter shots and what changed for me. And that is moving outside the dugout. With the 300, I can go behind home plate and up in the stands or off the side of the stands a little bit and get a straight on shot of the pitcher, which comes in very handy when you need a, um, a shot of the pitcher if they, shut, if they pitched a shutout or if they won that game or if they just had a really good game in general and they get pitcher of the week, whatever it may be. It's always nice to have a straight on shot and you can get the action with the ball as it's being thrown. Then... I thought, why not try shooting from outfield? The outfield fence is a little taller than me, so I, on day one, during that double header, I shot in the stands. We have stands in right field, so I can stand on the bottom and look right over it and shoot towards the batter. And for the most part, I'm on the backside of most um, of our infielders, but if they're turning to come up for a catch or something, I can get their face in it. And so that kind of opened my mind that I should probably bring a step stool. So Saturday we had another double header. I brought the 300 out with the 16 millimeter again, and I took a step stool out to outfield and I was able to move from center field and I went towards the scoreboard to left field. That gave me a perfect shot right at the batter. This also allowed me to cover some infield and some outfield. And the 300 was a little tight for center field and right field, but I can shoot over to over to right field. Left field was a little tight because I was over in left field. So I was able to get some catching stuff, mostly batting. Um, luckily, we were hitting home runs, so I got some really cool celebration shots around home plate. And so this changed my mind. If I can just move around a little more, stop being lazy and shooting from the dugout for 100% of the game, then I can make the 300 work for some very unique shots. Though I'm not gonna be completely done with the dugout, but this opens up to give me some different shots, some new angles, and it's a really good it's a really good angle for when they hit the ball. Because the ball's coming off the bat, you can see their face, they're swinging, and you can see the, the stands behind them as well, which kind of adds to the environment of the photo. So. That is gonna be something that I mix into all of my softball photos from here on out. And I will say the 300 is a little short for the batting photos. I do have to crop in. A 400 would probably fit a lot better. But with that said, I'm gonna make the 300 work. Cropping isn't gonna hurt it any um, for what we're using the photos for. And we can always upscale them in post if we need them to be a little larger for prints or wall wraps, whatever it may be that the school's gonna use them for. Now, back to the 16 millimeter. This is a very, very budget friendly lens for the RF mount. It's an F 2.8 and you can get it for under 300 bucks, probably even cheaper used. So this gave me a great focal length to shoot some huddle shots. And I had one in mind of shooting up into the huddle as they're in a big circle and get um, a series of images while they were getting hyped up before a game. And I got one really nice one that I really, really like. So the school has a few of those now that they can use. Um, and it's also a nice change up for my portfolio of sports images to have something a little different and getting a little more creative. Um, and the 16 isn't like a fisheye, so you're not getting any crazy distortion. 
Um, so the image came out very, very nice. And then you can also use it in the dugout since the dugout's pretty tight. It's a tight area. You don't have a lot of room to work with. The 16 is a nice focal length because I can fit in a nice group shot with only being a foot and a half in front of them as they're doing a cheer or if they're celebrating or whatever it may be. So the 16 millimeter came in very, very nicely for a lot of unique shots I normally don't get with the 24 to 70. So now that I've mentioned a few spots that I'm shooting with the 300 millimeter, some people might be asking why not shoot from first base or over by third base behind the dugout. And those spots are often occupied by um, spectators or other photographers. That's usually the spot that they go to um, because you can see the whole field from there. I'm not a fan of it because it's slightly behind third or behind first. So you're not able to see the faces of them. And if they're throwing the ball that way, you're getting the backside of them. Um, it is a good spot for sliding and it's a really good spot if they're rounding second and coming through shortstop to third. Um, and then the, obviously you can capture outfield perfectly fine right there because you are in front of them. So when they throw it back in or they're going up for a catch, you have a nice clear shot of their face. So it is a nice angle to shoot from. I usually just don't shoot from there anymore because I shot from there for a couple years before I was allowed in the dugout as a full-time freelancer for the college. So that's why I typically stick to the dugout behind home play or now the outfield. So um, you just kind of have, you know, figure out what works best for you. And that's what works best for me right now. And I'm not saying that I won't shoot from those spots behind the dugout, but it's not a very big space because you have the bullpens about 10 feet past. So you're in like a pretty small little area. And once you get like four or five other people in there, it's pretty tight. So I typically try to stay um, in areas that other people aren't shooting. Um, mostly to have unique shots and that our shots aren't duplicated between um, people covering the same school um, as me. So with that said, I'd appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions, and I will see you all next time.